Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video, as you can see, we are starting with a new video of Big Ramy posing. Now, I'm not sure if this video is recent, because nobody said when it was taken, Big Ramy didn't post it, but Flex Online magazine posted this photo for whatever reason, and they didn't really specify when this was taken, Big Ramy didn't comment on it, I don't know if they would just post an older video, I do know that I saw already some photos and videos of Big Ramy in this same room. So that might mean that this is an older video, or maybe he's just taking a new video in the same room. So I'm not completely sure when this video was taken, but as you can see, he looks really conditioned here. Would it make sense that he stays this lean year around? Well, it would, in a sense that he doesn't need to grow, that he's big enough, what he needs to do is to get more conditioned, just conditioned enough at the Mr. Olympia stage, and one of the ways to do that is to just stay lean year-round, and then he doesn't have to suffer too much when he is prepping, so we can say that it makes sense for him to do that. Now, I don't know how easy it is for him to get fat. I do think that genetically he was not really a skinny kid, that he was a little bit chubbier, but considering how much muscle he has right now, his metabolism must be insane, so he probably burns a lot of calories, and it's probably really hard for him to, to get fat, so I believe it would be pretty sustainable for him to stay like this year-round. And again, if this guy brings conditioning, he's bigger than everybody on that stage, so he probably is going to win the Mr. Olympia again, and he has momentum on his side, he is the defending champ, so they need to knock him out if they want to beat him, so all he needs to do, really, is come conditioned. Now, in this video, he doesn't really seem as big, as round, as complete as he was before, something is off with his physique right now, right here, something is strange with the legs and with the shoulders too. Let's get back to the start of this video, now take a look at his shoulders when he does the front relaxed pose. His delts do look a little bit disproportionate to the rest of his body, wouldn't you say so? Also compared to his arms as well, and he's also known for having huge arms, but here, his delts are kind of overpowering, his lats, his arms, his forearms, maybe he just trained delts and he pumped them up before he took this video, but something is throwing me off, I mean, this physique, it doesn't look very much balanced. Now, Rami is often compared to the greatest of all time, Ronnie Coleman, because both of these guys were extremely big, both of them definitely brought the biggest physiques on the stage, but Ronnie Coleman was a couple of leagues ahead of Remy. He was much, much better. And I'm sure you guys remember this video of Ronnie posing in the gym. Unfortunately, I can't play the video for you because Ronnie's team is copyright striking everybody who is using his videos, but I'm sure you've seen that video. If not, you can see this photo right here. It's not much, but you can see it. This looks much better, right? It looks it looks just right compared to this. And these guys are about the same size. Now, I don't know how much Big Remy is weighing right here. If this is recent, maybe he downsized actually, but based on all the photos and videos that I saw of him posting, he doesn't seem downsized. He seems as big as always. I think it's just his proportions. When he's standing on the stage next to the other guys, you can see his actual size, but here, just him standing alone, you can see those imbalances, those problems with his symmetry and proportion. Let's get back to the start of that video, and there is another thing that I wanted to mention, it is Remy's legs. Again, something is throwing me off here as well. Some people are saying that he's using SEO, site enhancement oil, in his quads as well. And you're probably thinking, how is that even possible? It makes sense to put it in your biceps, triceps, calves, small body parts, but in your freaking quads? Well, it's actually possible. I listen to other, many, many other bodybuilders from the 90s, like Chris Cormier, talk about so many guys doing this, so it's definitely possible. You need to do it the right way, though. You need to disperse it evenly throughout the entire length of that outer head of the quad. If you don't do it right, you will have bumps. So whatever Rami was doing, he probably did it the right way. But still, it still throws me off a little bit. It's something is going on here. I don't know, what is it? Is it just insane genetics? Or is it something else? I don't know. You guys be my guest and tell me what do you think. I don't really have any answers, I'm just telling you what I see right here, and something is throwing me off, I don't know what it is, if you guys can pinpoint that, tell me down below in the comment section. 
if you guys want to support me and my channel you can buy one of the old school lab supplements using the code even there is a link down below using the code is gonna get you a 12 percent discount but i'm also get my commission so definitely helps my channel if you guys want to support me you can buy whatever you like i would suggest to you the classic creatine it is a well micronized great creatine it has a probiotic in it so it's gonna help your digestion throughout the day so if you guys want to check it out there is a link down below all right, the next thing is Akeem Williams, uh, a couple of days out of Tampa Pro, showing us his conditioning, his vascularity, he's showing us his veins on his arms, and basically how thin his skin is. I also think there is something weird going on with Akeem's biceps, but let's not talk about that right now. Uh, what I'm seeing here is that he is actually pretty lean. I mean, this photo is filtered, but his, his skin looks pretty thin. Now, the biggest problem with Akeem, aside from not really bringing the conditioning every time, but he knows how to bring it, he can do that. The other thing is his back. His back is not very good, and this is how he's training it. This guy's nickname is a beast, and he's rowing with two plates only? What is this? Why is he so weak? Is he really that weak? Take a look at his face. Nothing. He, he looks like he didn't do anything. He is not even breathing hard, he's not making any faces, he has a straight poker face after he has just done one of the most taxing exercises, at least that's what it should be, barbell rows, right? But his face doesn't change <laughs> at all, take a look at this, it's so funny. You guys probably saw this video of Akeem posing one week before Tampa, so that's probably what you're gonna see on the stage, not much more different than this, a little bit drier, but this is basically the condition that he's bringing, and what I was concerned with the most was absolutely his back. As you can see, it is definitely not developed enough, nowhere near the level of development of his shoulders, arms, legs, chest, everything, everything. His back is just lagging behind the rest of his body, it's lagging pretty bad. Take a look at the lats, there are basically no lats, no lats whatsoever, he's really bad in that department. Yeah, his lats are a little bit high, but still... There is no mass there. There are guys with high lats like that is Wolf, but his back was huge. Akeem's back, not good. Definitely not very good. But at least now we can be pretty sure what is the problem. It's his training. As you can see, he's not putting a lot of effort in his training. I'm sure most of you guys watching this video can row two plates. So Akeem is definitely not trying very hard. You can also see the level of effort uh, in this video. He's definitely not trying very hard. <laughs> I love it when he turns around, I love this walk of his. Is it possible though that this was just a warm-up set? Well, I'm sure that this guy can row like four plates probably. He's incredibly strong, he squats like eight plates, so I'm sure he can do more weight. Now, could this be a warm-up set? I don't think so. The guy never posts anything, and finally he made a post a couple of days out of a show, and he would post just a warm-up set? Why would he do that? No, I think this is just the way he is training, and it's not working. It's obviously not working. His back is bad. It's lagging behind. He needs to work on that back. He needs to work harder, definitely much, much harder. And also, can somebody explain to me what is going on with his biceps? Take a look at the right arm here. I mean, this, this vascularity also, but the shape of the biceps especially. If you're gonna tell me this is a normal looking arm, a normal looking biceps, come on guys, come on. Something weird is definitely happening here. I'm not sure if it is SEO or something else, but something is not looking quite normal. Anyways, Akim Williams is competing this weekend, and it looks like he's not gonna bring his absolute best conditioning ever, but he's probably gonna be one of the biggest guys on that stage. And a lot of people have Kamal El Gardni beating Akim and everybody else and winning that show. Can Kamal really do that? Can he beat Akim Williams? Well, one of my favorite Instagram pages, especially... Well, let's take a look. One of my favorite Instagram pages posted this comparison, and as you can see, the difference is quite large. Akim is absolutely dwarfing and destroying Kamal. I don't know what it's gonna look like when they're actually standing one next to another, but it looks like Akim is just too much for Kamal. 
basically every single body part on Akeem looks so much bigger. Look at the shoulders, look at the chest, look at the arms, look at the side leg, everything, everything pretty much on Akeem is dwarfing Kamal. Back is not a good point for, for Akeem, but he's killing him in that department as well. Side tricep, take a look at the difference, he makes Kamal look like a man's physique guy, not even 212. Uh, the only pose that Kamal maybe has him is absent eyes as you can see, but everything else, Akeem is absolutely dwarfing Kamal. This is not a real life comparison, we still have to wait to see these guys on stage. Probably Kamal is bringing better conditioning, but as far as size... Wow, Akim, Akim is just a monster. <laughs> and these photos here, this comparison here, I don't know how accurate it is, but Akim looks so much more complete. He has too much size for Kamal, especially this one. I mean, here, shoulders, arms, side leg, chest as well. It doesn't even look like super heavyweight versus lightweight. It looks like bodybuilding versus man's physique, honestly. So I don't know if Akim is going to win this show, but I definitely do not have Kamal winning it. I'm sorry. This was one of those really rare moments when Akim brought good level of conditioning. You can see that his glutes were peeled, his hamstrings too. His back looked much, much better when he was conditioned, though it still looks weaker. As you can see, he's definitely... I mean, he got the angle here, so he definitely got his back closer to the camera. Uh, he didn't take this photo from a lower angle in which his legs would overpower his upper body, but, you know, his back looks much better when he's lean. It's definitely not very good as you can see there is some muscle until the middle part of the back lower back the lower half of it nothing so yeah it's insertions but he still needs to probably train it harder now here is an example of somebody who also needs to improve their back double bicep it is james hollingshead this guy is absolutely massive especially his lower body but his upper body too though when he does this back double bicep it doesn't look very good it just doesn't flow very well, he has also weird insertions, but it looks like he gained a lot of muscle in his back. Take a look at this, guys, take a look at that left lat. It is literally forming a freaking square. <laughs> it's not even a circle, it's a square. I mean, look at the angle of that lat that is hanging there on the left side. And this is not fat, even though it kind of looks like fat, no, this is muscle folding like this. He has so much muscle in that back that is just folding slabs on the slabs of meat, it just looks insane. And I can't wait to see James finally shredded because his back looks enormous now. Now, I'm not really expecting his back to look uh, really good in the back double bicep, it's gonna look amazing in the back lat spread, but in the back double bicep he doesn't really have the structure for it, but he definitely gained a lot of muscle in that area. You're wondering what his training is like, well let's take a look, this is uh, him rowing three and a half plates, take a look at his face, pay attention to his face. Does this look like a face that is not putting effort into this set? Absolutely not, James is killing this set, he's killing it with intensity. And look at how many reps he does, he goes to failure, he kills this set, three and a half plates guys, this is how you grow your back. Can he do four plates? Hell yeah, he can, and I think this was like fourth or fifth exercise in his back workout, you can check it out on his YouTube channel and take a look at this. This is what you do when you need to improve a body part. You're punishing it, you're training it with super intensity. So James is definitely doing that and he definitely improved his back. Akim should do the same if he wants to improve his back. But I don't think Akim's back is going to be good enough for Tampa. It's still going to be pretty weak. However, James, I always admire the thickness that James gained. When he turns to the side, you can see how much muscle there actually is. So he definitely grew that back like crazy. And I can't wait to see it finally shredded on that stage. It's going to look awesome, that's for sure. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.